All right, in this video, I'm going to do another example of solving a quadratic equation by completing the square. So in this case, we're going to solve x squared plus 4x minus 20 equals 12. And again, there's probably you know slightly easier ways to, to solve this quadratic other than completing the square. But again, we're just trying to illustrate the procedure here. Um, so in this case, Notice we have, you know, x's on one side, we've got a number, and then we also have a number floating around on the right side as well. A lot, there's sort of different ways that you can do these. They're all equivalent, but one way to go about doing this would be to get all the numbers on the right side. So the first thing I'm going to do is add 20 to both sides of this equation. So that's going to leave me with x squared plus 4x equals 32. And now kind of the, the completing the square step. Uh, the idea is we're going to make the left side into a perfect square by doing this following procedure. And you'll, you'll see that happen. So whatever numbers in front of the x, the coefficient on the x, what we do is we take one half, always one half of that number. So one half of four is simply going to give us two. And then what we do with that number, we take that number and we square it. So 2 squared is going to equal positive 4. What you do is on the left side, we're going to write this as x squared plus 4x. And there's our equal 32, equals 32 that was there from before. What we're going to do is whatever this, whenever you take one half of the number and square it, whatever that new number is, we're just going to add that to the left side. But if we add it to the left side, you also have to add it to the right side to keep everything uh, equal. And the idea is now x squared plus 4x plus 4 factors. It's a perfect square. It factors as x plus 2 times x plus 2. On the right side, we have 32 plus 4, which is 36. And again, if you take x plus 2, um, we can x plus 2 times x plus 2, we can simply rewrite this as x plus 2 quantity squared equals 36. Okay, so this is kind of a, to me, sort of phase one. This is the first thing you want to get done, is you want to make the left side into a perfect square, and yet yeah, you'll have some number hanging around, on, hanging around on the other side. That's fine. So now the idea is to get rid of the square, we're going to take the square root of both sides. Okay, so I should be a little careful here with my notation, because when you take um, square roots, you get positive and negative the square root of that number. So I should put a little plus minus you know, in the previous step since I already threw my square root in there. Um, what we're going to do is, well, we can take the square root of 36. That's just going to be 6. So we have um, x plus 2 equals positive or negative 6 is what we're trying to say here. We basically break this off into two little equations now. We're going to make the equation x plus 2 equals positive 6. And then we're going to make the equation x plus 2 equals negative 6. And we'll solve those individual equations. And that will give us our solution to the original quadratic equation. So in the first one, we can simply subtract 2 from both sides. We would get x equals positive 4. We could subtract 2 from both sides, and we would get x equals negative 8. And now we've got our two solutions to our quadratic equation.